Hello everyone, welcome to Open Plan Tech Tip Tuesday. My name is Abbas Ali Zaidi and today we are going to look at uh, how to create uh, 3D uh, piping components. Um, these can be uh, custom components and there are a variety of ways in which you can create uh, custom 3D uh, piping components. So we will not be able to cover um, all the methods uh, through which uh, custom piping components can be created in this uh, tech tip uh, but uh, in today's uh, session we will just cover one scenario and we'll follow up with the series of tech tip covering uh, all the methods and techniques through which you can create these uh, custom uh, piping uh, components uh, so let's uh, begin I've drawn some uh, simple uh, uh, pipe, elbow pipes, a bunch of valves here. Um, and uh, let me just place uh, some graphics here. Um, and I've, well, let me select um, cell file. And in this cell file, I have a couple of valve graphics. So these are some uh, fancy looking uh, valves, uh, which uh, are different than how we uh, create uh, regular uh, valves. So um, let me just insert these uh, uh, valve here. So these are just uh, graphics, cylinders, cones, extrusion solids, uh, using MicroStation, uh, these graphics have been uh, created, uh, which represent a realistic well. In this way, you, you can create any graphic uh, for any of the piping component and uh, create open plan based component uh, in the same uh, fashion. So once uh, the graphics are placed, how to create a custom piping component, we'll just select these graphics. Oops, uh, not the flange. Uh, just the valve graphics and uh, go to command called create new uh, custom component. When I hit this uh, button, I am presented with this dialog custom piping component builder. Uh, here you can see the discipline is uh, shown as piping support. We'll select piping in the component type. All the existing 3D cl uh, classes uh, are already defined here uh, that uh, are available in the schema. So we'll just uh, select gate valve uh, for this exercise can give rating as 150 pounds and for main and run port now this uh, connect point section gets auto populated at least the main entries based on your component type uh, if you have suppose branch graphics or t graphics uh, when i'll select the t class you know i'll get main port run port and uh, branch port so let me just select the normal diameter. This is a very small uh, pipeline. Uh, the end preparations, I can select that as flanged. And for facing, uh, let me choose raised face. So this basically uh, creates, uh, just like we create custom equipments uh, based on any user-defined graphics in the same fashion uh, this process is creating a piping component now here i have a button called use spec data if i choose this um, i will link up this uh, instance with any of the existing uh, pipe spec records all these values that i am manually entering here uh, will be pulled up uh, from this uh, from the spec data uh, we will do that uh, for our uh, second exercise, but for now, uh, let me show you how um, we can do it without associating it with the spec data. So this can come in handy, where the instances that you populated a spec, uh, but you do not, uh, you haven't really created the uh, draw scripts, or you want to use, uh, you know, the graphics coming from uh, some other uh, libraries or, or vendors. So the first part is uh, defining origin. Let me, so the first part is we can define the origin. Uh, you can define the origin of the component, uh, then define connect points. So for this, uh, 
notice the prompts here it says define main port so for main port I'll select uh, this point and uh, so under point for location and let me choose the it, the, the prompt uh, is prompting to define the uh, direction I'll do that and uh, let me switch the view and it's asking me to now select the point for location again and then enter point for the uh, direction of this second point and I'll hit this so this prompt that connect point definition is now complete once that is done I can say that okay create this custom component once I create uh, notice that uh, the regular EC dialogs pops up uh, it uh, gives me all the properties of this uh, gateway component. I can edit things here, add new description or any other property at this point. Uh, since note that I did not uh, link it up with any spec, so um, I'll get uh, uh, many blank properties here. Um, at this point, we can edit and hit modify component if you if you want to. So this way. Uh, this uh, custom component is now uh, created. If I bring my mouse over uh, it, uh, you can see uh, this component is now recognized as a whole, as a, a gate valve. And I can choose to see the properties. And this is the gate valve with all the uh, easy proper properties. So, um, once the piping component has been defined, uh, you can either create this in, in a cell file and directly place it from the cell. And notice that I initially create, place just the graphics from the cell file, uh, but we can uh, or define the whole open plan component like uh, this way in a cell file as well and directly place it from uh, the uh, cell file. So now we can place this component. Uh, we can choose this war valve uh, use uh, place user custom component and uh, um, and use this command to move this uh, um, component around and then place it or like if it's a situation like this we can just uh, drag and uh, place it here uh, since our specification we didn't ideally add any specification for our gate well uh, but our flange is of uh, um, using a particular spec I get this dialog but I can allow placement and uh, notice that uh, you know uh, flare gaskets and bolts are also uh, placed. So um, I can place uh, flanges on the on the other side as well. And uh, okay here and continue my routing uh, from the uh, other side. So this way, um, custom pipeline components can be um, created and um, uh, placed in a, in a drawing. Okay, so for our second exercise, uh, we'll just also place the same cell again. Uh, let me just place the cell here. And uh, let me just move it here. And from this exercise, we'll select the graphics, say create component, and this time we'll use the spec data. So let's again place a gate valve. And if I hit select use uh, spec data, uh, the um, program shows me all the half inch gate valves that I have. Notice in this pack, I only have socket weld and threaded uh, female gate valves. So let me just select um, a socket weld, gate weld here, and uh, all the properties are automatically filled up based on my selection uh, of that uh, spec. So uh, I'll just define origin and um, the uh, connect points in the same fashion. So let me pick up these points.
and for the robot so I'll create the create component to com uh, complete the um, uh, creation of the component and notice that in this uh, modified dialog uh, some of the properties are getting filled from that actual spec record like piece mark and others so in this way if you selected a spec record all the properties will get picked up uh, from that particular spec record and notice the uh, flange graphics uh, although the graphics have these uh, flanges but this uh, value is created as a socket and a valve uh, because that is how it was defined in the uh, spec so this was one of the ways of creating uh, custom piping components uh, we've started with a very uh, simple method uh, in the future tech tips uh, we'll continue and build upon these methods and cover all the ways we can create a custom piping component so thanks for watching today's tech tip